Dean says, would you rather drink breast milk or sausage milk? I mean, it depends, really. What defines the milk? Yeah, the what sausage? defines the milk of the sausage, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Hellstone Wargaming. Welcome to a very special coffee time. We have the lovely John, or Mr. Kirion. <laughs> I was wondering which way round the names were going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier, we filmed the battle report and I, got it, I did it the other way, so we're trying it out this way this time. Just confuse everyone. Yeah. You know, if you switch it out every time, it means... You know, it keeps them on their toes. They don't know what to expect. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome. Thank you very much for coming on for coffee time. I'm, I'm really, I'm loving this. I've not had a proper, like a proper game of 40k for I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. And actually seeing someone in yeah. real life. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird. It's very <laughs> different to normal at the moment. <laughs> so we've been filming all day today. We've played a game. We did Imperial Knights versus Chaos Knights, which we're into the channel very Plus soon. Plus a tank. Plus a tank. Gotta Spoiler tank. alert. Yeah. Gotta remember a tank. Yeah. Um, so that bad report's gonna be coming up soon. But we thought while I've got John all to myself all day, I'm gonna force him to drink coffee with me so we can talk some random rubbish, I think. Sounds good to me. I yeah. go through plenty of this at home. And <laughs> <laughs> I actually yeah. also, I didn't mention during the actual battle report filming, but I messed up t-shirt wise. I meant to wear the small ball game t-shirt. That's okay. But I wore it yesterday and Let's face it, there is a something of a stigma when it comes mm. to uh, Warhammer 40k players <laughs> or just tabletop players in general about certain, you know, body odors and the like. Yeah. It's like there's no way I'm showing up in yesterday's t-shirt on the vague <laughs> off chance that I somehow live up to that. So <laughs> basically I thought while while we're together, we'd sit down, and film a coffee time together. But rather than me ask questions, we're gonna do the cliche, I asked you what I should ask Harry off. So I did this with Winters before and everyone was really tame. I haven't looked at the questions yet, but I really hope it's not tame again. <laughs> it's just outsourcing, delegating. Yeah, delegating. That's what true leaders do. So if, if the questions are really good, it was my idea, the video was great. If the questions are really bad, it's all your fault. So make sure you like and subscribe while you can. And also subscribe to carry off the link in the description. That's the best way to do it. If if the video doesn't work out, it's it's entirely down to the audience. It's like everything I come up with is gold. It's yeah. you lot who are it's messing you, this you up. guys failed. <laughs> the first question, interestingly, is midwinter to Mini says, why aren't you both at my place filming battle reports? Because you haven't invited us yet. Well, actually, no, that's not true. No, I take that back. I immediately oh, have to God, take that back. Go back, <laughs> I, F, go back. Go back. <laughs> I commented on one of his videos months ago, and and I can't remember what I said, but he, he said, you should come and film a battle report. And mm -hmm. I was like, that sounds good, but it was during extreme pandemic time. Yes. So yes. he so. also asked me the very same thing because I stole his Necron painting scheme and made a video out of it. Yes. <laughs> Which actually also got like I think his has got like hundreds of thousands, but I got like thirty thousand views. So I completely stole that, gave him full credit for it, and then he was like, "Oh, shall we have the most confusing game ever?" So I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." But I would absolutely watch that. Yeah. That would everyone be... using the same model, <laughs> yeah. the same models of the paint, same paint scheme. So why aren't we filming bar reports with you? Because you're tell me where you live I we, guess. Are, we are a phone well not the same phone but we are yeah. a phone call away each of us phone. neither of us are Henry Cavill though so I mean no, no we, <laughs> not you, even... I know you're trying to that one if you want to settle for second and third best either way yeah. we're probably second and third I, to be honest I would, I would place myself well below the third best <laughs> <laughs> compared to Cavill I reckon there's a good number of people well above that <laughs> very true okay Ben Easton says why does he look like he's been taken captive he looks terrified. Why do you? Oh, I, are, are you terrified? No, I just don't know how to react to cameras, which is kind of dumb considering you know what I do borderline every day. But there's something about the act of taking a photo mm -hmm. to be placed, kind of just in in the public. I don't do it in family pictures because they don't go anywhere. Yeah. But if someone takes a photo that is gonna like reach more than like four pairs of eyes, <laughs> I get like the deer in the headlights look, and I'm yeah, like, fair. oh no. Russ says, if someone gifted you three thousand points of your dream army, any faction ever made, what army, what colours, and why? That's kind of that's really difficult. Yeah. Honestly, any any army in any colour scheme, but it would probably be dark Eldar in really? a in like. A really high contrast colour scheme, mm -hmm. like black armour with like super vibrant green or purple kind of energy and, and highlights because I can't do black. Okay. I hate painting black. I've never found a decent way to do black. No. I find the best way to paint black is to paint it grey. <laughs> yeah, it's just no matter what the method is, I always sit there and go, well that seems like a lot of steps to make it look black. Or it seems like a lot of steps to make it like a really dark grey that is mostly black. Either one of them, I'm just not going to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, like sense. a proper crisp, crisp black with proper mm. sharp edge highlights. And also, 
Drakari, Dark Eldar, they're just so spiky and everything's so small and it looks amazing because they've got that amazing like segmented armor mm. and all the different kind of crests and There's armor so to and them. they're so complicated for such yeah. small spindly models that every time i've thought about collecting them i've gone i would love to do that and then i've mm. looked at them again and gone no no <laughs> i'm just not i have it. more sanity than this <laughs> exactly it would it would be that for that reason i, nice. I could dark eldar is the one faction that i'm just like no, um, no, fair. Which bit do you like? Which part of Drakkar do you like the most? Do you like the Cabalites, the Witch Cult, or the Homunculus Covens? I think probably probably the Witch Cults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. also a bit crazy as well, which is cool. Yeah. Schlooper Booper says, "When are you going to paint Barry? Go on, it's a bit an injustice to Barry. Justice for Barry in the chat." Let's go. Uh, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I keep thinking like I've got a spare couple of hours. I could. Mm. I could knock Barry out in a couple of hours. Then again, I look at him. I'm like, I've got a couple of hours. I could paint Barry. Then I look at all the other models that I actually <laughs> need to play games with, mm -hmm. or to do projects with, or to or to play D and D with. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, but that, that that's, that's a couple of hours that could be spent on anything else that I would actually get a use out of outside of showing up in videos occasionally for a laugh. <laughs> so, well, James Picard says now that the new boys are out, he'll never get around to it. He has got no faith in you. You want to prove James wrong? Problem is, I don't think he is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen one day. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to say what day that is. Well, Hans Gruber 30 says, Was it the pink hair that made him start a Slanesh army, or was it the Slanesh army that made him have the pink hair? I mean, the two are separate but related, I yeah. guess. I just, <laughs> Slanesh armies, I've always liked Empress Children and the just the general colour scheme of black and pink I've really liked, but then I really liked the purple and gold of the heresy era yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'd always wanted to do something with them, but not known where to start. Mm. Because I always thought Empress Children should look super fancy. Even yeah. when they've joined Chaos, they should be really over like over the top in terms of detail and like decoration mm. and stuff. And so when the Adaptive Custodies stuff was announced, I immediately looked at it and went, Those look great. I could use those. <laughs> the, the Terminators, great for Empress yeah. Children Terminators, and just the normal guys, they're great for great for chosen. So mm -hmm. I can use those for that. That's the only reason I started doing the Empress Children stuff. <laughs> well, there because you go, of because that. of the custodies. <laughs> because of a totally different <laughs> army. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Which, you know, it's just it happens like that sometimes where you just see a model and go, I could do a million things with that that aren't what it's for. Mm. And that's how I mean to be fair, most of my models. <laughs> well yeah, this is very true. Thing is, not even finished that army. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I had one Chaos Knight to go with it. Excellent. And I really enjoyed painting that Chaos Knight. Then I decided on a different colour scheme. Then I decided that I needed to do the silly Warhound Vulcan Megabolt conversion. Mm -hmm. So I bought another Chaos Knight for that. Nice. Then I had two Chaos Knights without really meaning to. Because <laughs> I was like, one just to go with the army would be fun. Mm -hmm. Then I had two. I was like, well, having two seems daft because yeah. three is like a full army. So I should get a third. Well three. I already had an Imperial Knight. So I just Chaos that up. <laughs> and then went, it's not quite 2,000 points. I could do something fun with the Lord of schools so <laughs> oh, instead damn. of actually having an empress children army i've got like five hq choices some terminators Excellent. a typhon and an entirely different <laughs> <laughs> army <laughs> that's what caught what is what is known as a warhammer addiction i'm afraid <laughs> that's where we're at <laughs> chronic inability to finish projects it's yeah. just oh that would be fun Oh, that I've done that. That would also, also be fun. Be fun. <laughs> didn't, didn't you tweet the other day and say, how do you focus on one army? Yeah. I, I, and it had more replies than likes for a long time. Yeah. It tells you it's a very like relatable tweet. <laughs> I, I got I was annoyed with myself because I saw that super late because the first thing I thought of was that um, invincible meme where the guy's yeah. like, that's the neat thing. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> People were just sending it to me with no text and I was like, I can hear this. Yeah. I can just hear this image. Yeah. Chris Barber says, was it you that pushed Valrak off the roof? I don't know where he lives, so I don't have that option. No. I did pay a man, though. But <laughs> Are you guys filming a bat rep? No. no. We're not filming a bat rep. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> the honest answer is no. No, we're <laughs> sat here talking to the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. The answer is no. <laughs> What's the one GW model you would not convert, just paint as it is? I think that's a, actually a good question. Because I think so, that's hard. <laughs> is it Barry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it count if you just have no intention of painting a model at all? <laughs> uh, oh, I was going to say, uh, I was going to say, Lady, what's her name? Lady Olander from the Nighthaunt range. Oh, yeah. But I don't like the don't like the two ghosts that swirl around her because they've got weird faces. Mm. And not in a scary way, just in a, why did you put that with her way? If you cl uh, click them off, that's a conversion. Yeah. It's such a stupid answer in the context of one of the previous questions. The noise marine. <laughs> 
<laughs> honestly, the noise marine, because that's what I'd make it look like anyway. Oh, and they already make it, so you I don't need to do it. anything. Do you own actually, any? I own three. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, no, Bellacor as well. I wouldn't change Bellacor. No. Okay. Bellacor is... He is beautiful. He is just... He's perfect. Mm. I would not change anything about that. So that's like two models. That <laughs> well, two, my the, range. Are you done range review of everything? So it's not like you don't know all the models. I'm, get, I'm, I'm <laughs> getting a lot of it. I'm not that... I think I'm about halfway through the entire catalogue now. Yeah. Which... Where'd you get that t-shirt? It says Sir, Mo Sir Merc. Uh, Amazon. <laughs> Excellent. Great answer. When will we see your Ambot Mega Gargans and have you taken them for a game yet? Oh, ah, I need to, yeah. I haven't done a game with them yet. The Ambots are normal Gargans, Rage of Sigmar. They're just Roman Metal Gargans. Okay. But I need to make two Mega Gargans to go with them to make it like a, a full 2,000 point army. Mm -hmm. The thing is, because they're AOS, I've currently got a different project going on that I've talked about on the channel, which is the Soulblight Gravelord stuff. Mm -hmm. And there is an end game to that project, which is kind of building this army to culminate in playing Age of Sigmar for the first time. Um, technically the second time, because I played it once when it first launched, which I don't think counts, no. because it's not the same game. No. I don't remember any of it either. <laughs> it didn't have um, points. It didn't have points. It's so weird. It didn't really um, have rules. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, the Gargans are going to have to wait until after I've done that, but I really want to get the two Mega Gargans done. Mm -hmm. um, which Mega Gargans enough, are really cool as well. The thing is, I'm going to use Imperial Knights to make them. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> because the sure. others are already mechanical, kind of steampunk. Yeah. Basically Warjacks, someone okay. pointed out from War Machine. Mm -hmm. So I've got those six but i need to do two mega gargans to go with them okay. and then once that's done to be honest i'm probably going to start playing quite a bit of age of sigma with those nice. instead they're like the perfect middle ground where they're nice and big and stompy mm -hmm. they have some fun rules but they're not massively overcomplicated so yeah. in terms of just showing up and going okay i've got like six of the same thing that's mm -hmm. me good to go yeah i I'd quite like that about about armies when you can limit it down and just make it as smooth as possible. Two days each, yeah. yeah I, it's, it's like the Imperial Knights equivalent, isn't it, really? Yeah. The Age Sigma. And also, monsters are really good in Age Sigma right now. Yep. So that's, it's definitely the addition of monsters right now. So That's why I've got three Terror Geist in boxes. Great, great idea, <laughs> great idea. <laughs> Toys for the Toy God says, who does your hair? My wife. Excellent. Well, she dyes it and I cut it. And by cut it, I mean take a cheap shaver that I bought about five years ago and just go round the back and the sides and occasionally get annoyed with how long it is and put a guard on it. And that's it. Nice. That's which also is what I do. Why it, <laughs> which is why it looks the way it does. <laughs> you could go to a hairdresser or whatever or go to a barber's or something and be charged for that. Why bother when you can do it yourself? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Someone's sitting there going, I cut hair for a living and uh, I can tell you why you, should do it, why you shouldn't do it yourself. But it's fine. It's worked so far. I'm Two not going to hold yet. So. <laughs> which is your favourite dreadnought? It says Moose Cloth Media. Leviathan. Easily yeah. Leviathan. Leviathan's the best one. It looks the Hands best. It, the, the weapons it has are the most fun. Yeah. Between the Gravflux Bombard and the Storm Cannon Array and yeah. the, the various claws, it's either horrendously like stompy and can just pull apart vehicles and people, yeah. or it can just shoot the hell out of everything. And it doesn't matter which, because both of them are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah I agree. I love the way. I, I used to love running two. Yeah. With, well, when it was double storm cannons with 20 shots on each one. Yeah. And then Gollum and stuff behind them doing his thing. <laughs> Those are the days. Ginger Steve says, what's your favourite pizza? Meat feast. Does Ginger Steve know where you live? I hope not. Because you might get one otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> no offence, Ginger Steve. I just don't think I know you personally, and so no more really <laughs> you, You'd think that would stop them. <laughs> Lorenzo says, why is he so tall? I'm <laughs> genetics. Gen I'm, yes. not, I'm not as tall. I'm not as tall as I thought I was, in fairness. Right. We've been measuring my like my kids' height as they've been growing. And so we thought we would, like on the wall where we've yet to redecorate. And there was a point where we are like, we should put our heights on to see how quick they catch up. Yeah. For the longest time, I was under the impression I was six foot. Oh no. Then we measured. <laughs> <laughs> and I five eleven and three quarters. <laughs> and I was Brilliant. like, you couldn't have just given me that extra. Life. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I've never been that bothered. But the entire time I've been under the impression. But no, technically five eleven. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. just not, it's just not what I thought it was. Georgie likes to remind me that I'm also five eleven. I'm not six foot. 
But then she says... 5'10". No, I'm 5'11". <laughs> I'm not 5'10". Oh, wait, we're cutting that bit out. <laughs> Cut. More personal now. It's the final question from YouTube. So I hope you're okay. Ready. Does the carpet match the drapes? No. What's going on, big guy? Says, what the hell is on your head? I think this hair. is probably going to be the last last question about it. <laughs> it comes up a lot. Yeah, it's hair. I really? grew it myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then cut it yourself as yeah. well. Really multi talented. <laughs> so Simro Dave says, what's your favourite kit bash you've done? Probably I mean it's still it is still probably the the Chaos Knight with the Vulcan Mega Bolter. Yeah. It's, he's it, super cool. It took so long to do and I went in with a very clear idea as to what I wanted to do with it. And it came out almost exactly like it. Mm. It just took a lot, of, a lot of messing about. And there's like a load of extra little things that went into it that aren't obvious looking at the model. Yeah. So like things like reposing the legs and mm -hmm. having to strengthen them and doing. There's lots of little things that you wouldn't yeah. think could happen because it just looks like it's holding the Vulcan Mega Volta. But a lot of time and effort went into it, and it actually came out looking pretty much exactly how, how nice. I wanted it to. Yeah, it is super cool. And again, what's impressive that people might not realise is you can actually take the bolter off, can't you? Yeah, you can, you can disassemble it. So the, the mega bolter comes off the arm with the hand with the Thunderstrike Gauntlet, which doesn't get used it to that. Carries um, the, and he, he needs that to carry yeah, the lump of resin the extra, to you there. <laughs> the extra strength. Um, yeah, you can, you can like half disassemble it and take off the gun and one of the arms and the shoulder plates. So mm. it's still kind of, it's not easily transportable because yeah. you have to glue, the, I had to, not just glue the waist, but there's like a full like strut of plastic sprue mm. that goes up into the body yeah. just because the weight of the bolter just tipped it forwards. <laughs> there's just a lot of a lot of little things went into it to make it work and yeah. the, the end result is actually what I wanted. It's very cool. Wanted. Also, very cool. so many green stuff tentacles. Yeah. Like the cables that hold the the head, the head in. Like I put it in with, I kind of secured it with wire, and then just put the green stuff all around it. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how many hours were spent getting the green stuff, mixing it, getting the roller, rolling it out, putting against it. No, nope. nope. too sure. Roll <laughs> it again. No, that's a bit too long. Yeah, Squish it down a bit. Me. Roll it again. That, but over and over and over. Yeah. It was like There's a lot two, of cables on there. It was two evenings work, just oh, wow. solidly doing just that. So. Yeah, just in terms of sheer effort and having a clear idea at the start, that's the favourite. Although the the Ambot Gargants are kind of close mm. behind that, but for the opposite reason where I didn't know what I was doing when I built them. Yeah. That was just a thing where I had, yeah, I had some Ambots and I was like, well, <laughs> I bought this kit to make a wall forged artificer for d and D. I've still got an Ambot left. What right. shall I do with it? I will... Stick on the guy. I will <laughs> see what happens if I. What if I stack the legs? That could be fun. Mm. So that's what I did. I stacked the legs one on top of the other and went, oh, that makes it kind of lanky. That's cool. Nice. So that doesn't look very 40k because it's all lanky and weird. Yeah. What if I stick some, like, some warp stone on the top and a chimney? Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, what if I put weapons on it? Then it just escalated to Oops. having six of them. <laughs> and Brilliant. then it ended up being one of those things where every time I put a picture up or make a change to them, they get like some of the best responses from yeah. people just kind of going, how did you do that? I just made just it Just it together and <laughs> just, hope, just, hope for the best. Yeah, threw things at the model and then this happened. <laughs> Given that God is infinite and that the universe is also infinite. Would you like any toast? Would you like a toasted tea cake? Oh, I got the quote wrong. Damn it, hang it. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, was it the toasted tea cake first? No, it was toast first, and then he moves on to toasted tea cake later because oh. Lester says he doesn't want any toast. It's a red wolf thing. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> so I just went straight, straight <laughs> into that. I've watched the, especially like the first, the first three series of Red Dwarf a lot, and the the toaster that kind of ponders its own existence but also only wants to make toast is <laughs> one of the best characters in there. See, see, money, man. Says, I would ask him, how's it going? How's it going? Good, thanks. Have you ever had a tea side parmo? And if not, you should try one. It's a dish so nice that Slanesh himself would feast on it. You ever had a tea side parmo? I don't know what that is. Parmo, it's like chicken and cheese, I think. Is it? Breaded cutlet of chicken or pork topped with white bechamel sauce and cheese, usually cheddar. Oh. So you never had a parmo? No. Well, there's your answer. No. I will try it. Michael Brocker says, if he was in charge of Mikey's head, what changes would he make? Shave an eyebrow and glue back two inches to the left? Free reign. 
What would you do to my face? You can shave eyebrows off, take the beard off, you can put the beard anywhere, I guess. I feel like those are the rules. Why did he go why did he go for like a like just a relatively like the, harsh option? Yeah, just move the eyebrow two inches. I don't I don't know even know where to start with that. I mm. feel like That's it a very polite way of saying I'm ugly, but you don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the context. If you if you're going for <laughs> if you're going to like crush dreams mm. then you could come up with all sorts of like reconstructive surgery and all sorts of jokes based on that but then you wouldn't look like you no. and that would just confuse everybody yeah it could literally ruin your life if you didn't look like you it so could, to be it, fair. I feel like that's too much responsibility for one man to have it might be okay it's though too because, much power. <laughs> because then if I upload a video and share it with reddit they won't know it's me <laughs> <laughs> so they won't hate me straight away <laughs> change the name of the channel after the event and then just yeah. they, they're all in favour now that's yeah exactly exactly <laughs> it also depends entirely on whether it's reliant on like my artistic ability because mm. then you would just end up looking like a three year old's drawing which is not <laughs> which is not what you want <laughs> Joe says asking why he gets his crazy inspiration for some of his conversions where do you get the inspiration from or is it all just <laughs> run what fits <laughs> <laughs> throw glue in a bucket and some bits and hope for the best honestly sometimes that is the way <laughs> it kind of depends on what it is sometimes it's directly just seeing someone else's model like mm -hmm. the idea for the chaos knight with the mega bolter yeah. would not have happened if i hadn't already copied someone else's centurion so right. some guy did a Karkaradin's army mm -hmm. and he made centurions that instead of having the bulky arm well they had the bulky armor but instead of having yeah. a heavy bolter under each arm they were holding it like under slung nice. and they had like i think he used chaos warrior arms or something from mm -hmm. fantasy so they had like bare arms they were holding it like that no nice, cool. and I, th I thought that was really cool and so i decided to do a dreadnought like that mm. which i wouldn't have thought to do if i hadn't seen those models yeah so I did a Redemptor holding an Avenger Gatling cannon, and nice. then I decided that having done that, it was for like a small friendly tournament thing that was a couple of years ago, I would do Centurions in the same way. Mm -hmm. um, which was, in fairness, given the context of that tournament, it was just, you can bring whatever you like if it's this number of points. Okay. So I, I took three Centurions with heavy bolters and the Redemptor with what is technically two onslaught gatling cannons because nice. we were allowed to pick two things yeah um so it was a bit stacked because it was just all the just all the dacker all the dacker um but if i hadn't done those then i wouldn't have done the knight okay. because they gave me the idea to scale it up because mm. I, I did the redemptor then i did the centurions then i did a normal um cast of ferrum dreadnought just the normal little box knot yeah holding uh holding a, a minigun as well nice. and having done those and <clears throat> stacked them up I put it on Reddit and I was like don't ever talk to me or my son again <laughs> and, and I saw that and someone went oh you should are you going to do that with a knight and I'd already thought about it but I went just, conf just for you yeah you've confirmed it for me yeah. I am going to do that with a knight yeah. so if it hadn't been for seeing one person's model I wouldn't have made that most likely mm. but then there's like the more weird stuff like that walking monolith thing mm. that I'd, I think I've I think I love I've pictures of where that was that was just a random thought. I was listening to uh, there's a podcast called Old Gods of Appalachia, which is a horror podcast. It's like okay. a narrative thing, almost like a like a radio play kind of thing every mm. week. Um, and I was listening to that, and I just suddenly had the idea of what if there was like this big monument thing that actually walked towards you and it it was just this big like terrifying monstrosity that would be kind of fun that would be kind of fun so i made so i made so it here we are. I, I <laughs> do. so yeah it's a kind of it's like a 50 50 mix of seeing something cool that i either kind of do an interpretation of mm. or just randomly thinking of something and just thinking well, i want to make it like yeah. i yeah. it's going to bug me until i actually do build the thing that i've just thought about so that's where things like the really weird stuff tends to come from just my imagination more than anything <laughs> like the tree with all the skulls sticking out of it or nice. the the um spike revenants for age of sigma that are mm. half skeleton instead of being half um like spirits half elf yeah. yeah so stuff like that is just that's creepy i'll do yeah. it and those cool. tend to just show up at random yeah exactly it's it does feel very much like that. It's just like random horror type yeah, just, conversions. Just, which is weird because I don't, I don't like horror. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't play horror games. I hate horror games and I don't yeah. watch horror films. Right. I can listen to horror podcasts 
and like I listen to audiobooks of horror stuff. For some reason, I think it's the visual aspect of it, mm. and an over reliance. Actually, that's not fair. An over reliance on jump scares really yeah. puts me off. Stuff that's more kind of like cosmic horror and is just mm. slowly building up tension and and kind of just it's just like a really oppressive atmosphere of things are going badly wrong. I love that type of thing. Yeah. It's the moment it just starts like someone's just looking in a mirror and suddenly it jumps out at you. It jumps out at you because it just feels a bit cheap to me. Yeah. I always feel like all right, otherworldly yeah. type horror is more interesting. Yeah, by by far. I just find that a lot more interesting. That's why you like Dark Souls and Bloodborne for yeah. that reason. Yeah, it's it's a lot more it's a lot more that side of things. And that's I think that's probably where a lot of like some of the weirder kind of horror creations that mm. are made come from. It's less kind of jump scare and oh look it's an axe murderer and more I don't understand on a fundamental level yeah. what this is supposed to be or how to deal with it but it's walking towards but me but it's walking towards <laughs> me yeah I, lo I love that that specifically that's that's what gets me that's cool so. that's cool very cool Dean says would you rather drink breast milk or sausage milk if we take it at its most literal face yeah I mean sausage milk it'd be hard to get milk out of a sausage <laughs> Yeah, and I suppose exactly. it depends on whether it's like, whether it's like a Cumberland, mm. like you could do like a pork and apple. Yeah, I mean it depends, really. What defines the milk? Of yeah, the what defines the milk of the sausage? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll come back with that answer, then maybe we can answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a. I think you know what I meant. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we just didn't engage with it. <laughs> Alex says, uh, Alex from the channel says, why is everyone taller than Mikey in the Warhammer world? I don't know, because if you're 5'11 and I'm 5'11, we're the same height. I mean, yeah, because we're not 5'10, because that bit's been cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian says, when will we see a Kirioth hot tub stream? When someone buys me a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a nice day today, and obviously I have a paddling pool. <laughs> We could, we could, could, we could, we could do this <laughs> somewhere more comfortable. Just two bros chilling in a hot tub. Yeah. Five feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah says, where do babies come from? From personal experience, it, you just don't want to know. Just just, just swerve it. Just swerve. Just swerve it. Excellent. Just don't... <laughs> All right then. Okay, we, we're on. We're in the deep web now. We're on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are the final questions. If things go wrong, this is where it'll happen. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for the final questions? What is it like being Mikey's big brother, and how did he bring so much shame on the family? <laughs> I think you might have left this on a wrong post. <laughs> My brother actually doesn't have Twitter, but yeah. Why did that bring so much shame to the family? Give him, give, give me his number, I'll call, and then we can answer the question later. Um, That'd be a great conversation, wouldn't it? Would Who are you? Well, <laughs> I'm at your brother's house, yeah. right? I, too, have a YouTube channel where I talk about toy soldiers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you answer this possibly quite insulting question? <laughs> Yeah, I knew this would be the dark web. Yeah. Ben says, um, who's also, a, he likes to play Slanesh Demons. He says, when was the last time you had to waffle stuff? <laughs> I feel like I know what that is and also <laughs> know enough or remember enough not to Google it. Yeah. I don't remember, I don't remember ever, ever having had to. Okay. I think I've... I've got away, you know, pretty, pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> they keep bringing up a series of waffle stomps when you poo in the shower. You have to squish it down. I mean, there's a toilet right there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, it's just not. What if you're like, a, like, like in a sh the shower room or something? What are you gonna do? What you, life comes sometimes grabs you by the bowels, I guess. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I suppose you just got. Just gonna say by the bullet, but that's. <laughs> I want to do that. We're I'm mixing better. metaphors, and it's not great. <laughs> Cameron says, why do you hate Barry so much? <laughs> I don't know. A little bit more tame than the last question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever waffle stomp Barry? <laughs> Have you ever waffle stomp uh, yeah. Barry? <laughs> I, I don't hate Barry. He's fine. I just, you know. He's fine. <laughs> tend to His best him friend is time. fine. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I love him, really. For sure. I mean, I've, st I've still got him. And he was bought when I joined the hobby in third edition. Wow. So I've had Barry for like 20 years. If I didn't like him, he would have been long gone by now. <laughs> Organ says, how much Kirioth could a Kirioth Kiri if a Kirioth could a Kiri Kirioth? And I'm surprised I said that in the I'm first impressed. attempt. I'm impressed. I'm going to lie. I saw that on Twitter earlier and didn't mention it. <laughs> just, just wanted to see what would happen. One. 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 One hole. 
Kiri. Secret Nerd says, who would win in a fight, a grizzly bear or a monkey with a knife? Which we both saw earlier, which is yeah. actually hilarious. That, I mean, it's an excellent question. I feel like I would be rooting for the monkey with a knife, mm. but I feel like the grizzly bear has probably got the upper hand. I think the Poor. monkey would give him a good... <laughs> <laughs> the, the monkey gave him a good run for his money. The monkey's fast. It also speedy. depends on the size of the monkey. Mm. If it's like one of those little, what are they like, capuchin monkeys, like mm. the little tiny ones, yeah. he's got no chance. If it's like, if it's a proper big monkey with a really big knife, really big knife. there's potential there for at least a draw. Excellent. So, I mean, if you, want, if you want to set it up, don't, you know, don't advertise it because you'll be in trouble. But don't put it on YouTube, but... At least let us know the results after Yeah, the send fact. us a link. <laughs> condoning animal cruelty I just want to point that out <laughs> this is not that, legal advice <laughs> that's in the other video we do that <laughs> do you ever crave mozzarella sticks <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> what type of question is that do you breathe air <laughs> what, what human doesn't <laughs> do you have I feel like that, that that's a question designed to root out like a robot imposter pretending mm. to be me Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> would not know how to yeah, no. that question <laughs> I feel like he wouldn't know what they are no a another food related question what's your take on beef jerky I don't know that. Is it, is, 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 I feel like it's an innuendo or something because it's just such uh, a yeah, tame maybe. question. I just, it feels yeah, it feels like there should be like a sinister undertone to that. But is it really a thing over here? I thought yeah. it was more of like an American thing, wasn't it? You get beef jerky. Yeah, take, I used to get beef jerky with my meal deal from Tesco. Oh, I've been missing out. Yeah, it's great. I need to taste it. Apparently, I need to stop it. <laughs> Tesco and you get beef to to jerky. Tesco, yeah. Van Zan says, "Is it true you are actually a gargan piloted by Barry?" So maybe that's what the mozzarella question was. It was actually yeah. to fish you out as yeah. just a, a, an orc that pilots in a gargan. I can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, <laughs> next question. That's it. We need to get some better protocols to work it out if people are robots because they're, they're adapting. Yeah. <laughs> what is he looking at and why is he so happy? So, so hell kite. See, that's, that's a different take, because previously it was, why does he look terrified? <laughs> so you look equally happy and terrified at the I, same time. I think that's pretty impressive, to I be honest. So, yeah. I'd, I'd be amazed if someone was both scared same, and happy about it. And look like a deer at the same time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, I think that's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Clark says, are you going to buy the new boys or paint Barry first? I'm <laughs> actually, honestly, the like the Beast Snagger box. I was super tempted by, but I'm not gonna get it primarily mm. because I know I wouldn't get around to it for ages. It would just sit there yeah. probably for months. I would get around to it eventually because the new Orc stuff, like it's really got me thinking about doing Orcs again. But it's a limited box again. Yeah. So there's going to be hardly any. I saw someone say, I think it was yesterday, that their local store has one to yeah. sell. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, I was thinking I probably wouldn't. I'm definitely probably not now because yeah. it just feels unfair in a weird way. Yeah, we like, were talking about on the stream last night how like I had like I'm on loads of mailing lists and I've got loads of email addresses saying, oh by the way, we're only getting like two boxes. Yeah. Big FOMO fight uh, for it. So I, I wish they'd stop it honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but, so if you did get one, congratulations. Okay. So the final question okay. is that like, we're mostly tame, but this is a very important. What did you buy from the Stafford Co-op and was it a meal deal <laughs> on the way here? It was a meal deal. Not this one, but what is your perfect meal deal? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I always tend to go for exactly the same thing mm. because even though it's massively unhealthy, but I always go for either the bacon and egg sandwich or the sausage bacon and egg. Strong. I only go for the bacon and egg if the other one isn't available. <laughs> <laughs> and mostly because it's still got bacon in it. The chili heat wave Doritos. Nice. And Strong. I think it, it was a kind of monster. Yeah? What, yeah. Which monster? The uh, the uh, the white ultra can. That is a very good choice. There was like a there was a, a point quite a few years ago where I was drinking quite a few of those mm -hmm. like every day, and okay. I got to the point where <laughs> I just opened one up and took a sip and just went, oh Jesus, it's so sweet, it's yeah, so bad. It's like syrup, the original one. Yeah, I really don't I, like it. I just it was almost like it's almost like part of me went no, enough is enough. I'm yeah. gonna make you hate this. <laughs> from that point on, your body's just... already monster. You don't need. Yeah, anymore. it was like just just steer clear. You just... can tell a lot from a person from their meal deal choices. 
<laughs> like eating unhealthily yeah, and drinking much. unhealthily. <laughs> so like, you left your own devices and you got a very limited option. What do you go for? Yeah, you could go for a salad and a little tub of fruit and a yeah. bottle of water. But no, Sounds bacon and egg. <laughs> no, bacon and egg sandwich with crisps and yeah. a monster. That is all the questions. I think you got out a little a bit worse. Spread. A little bit worse than Winters this time. <laughs> <laughs> Again, last time I was expecting people to ask him if he's ever been pegged and Winters didn't know what's been what pegged was. I don't understand how he doesn't know that. No, I have it as a sound bite on my, my stream deck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what pegged is. What is pegged? Did you get him to Google it whilst you were recording? No, I left it there. Ah, uh, I was kind of because I, I I do remember watching that coffee time and I was wondering if like there'd been a cut <laughs> where it was like, <laughs> where it'd be like you should have a look and uh, then just there being a cut I've never but, caught I've never caught him up about it but like we he, he, he said what is pegged and I said I'll tell you after <laughs> And then we stopped, stopped the camera and he was like, so what is it? And I said, just Google it, you'll be all right. <laughs> so I don't know if you ever did, maybe you did. Oh, you could have you, you got great like reaction. <laughs> <Yeah. doing> <laughs> John, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've really enjoyed this, yeah. Yeah, it's been good. good. So thank you, you guys for watching. Are there any other questions you want to ask Kiri off? You can always ask in the comment section, which is always cool. Or you can go off to Kiri off's channel and uh, ask him there. I'm sure he'll probably make a, I, make I a video about have, it, maybe. I do have one of them. There's some people asking actually stop. about old bums recently. Is that why you made that video? Well, I I sent that that video to it was Neil Blomkamp, wasn't it? He was asking about Warhammer 40k. <laughs> yeah. He asked on Twitch, he was like, I want to get into Warhammer 40,000, but I don't know anything about it. Where do yeah. I start? And here you go. And I just replied with a link, which was the talking about orc asses for nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I just replied with that and left it. He never got back to me, which I think is a bit rude, but we all know he watched the video. Of course. Because, you know, How he, could you not? he asked. So. so, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Coffee Time. I'll be back uh, next Sunday, as we always are, at 10 a.m. And, um, John, again, it was a pleasure. Do it again. Yeah, we should do this again. Yeah, it was good definitely. Fun. So start thinking some questions now because if, if you didn't like this video again it's your fault yeah do better <laughs> next time just do Come better on. so that's it thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one bye now